Hi, this is copywriter and consultant Casey Demchak, back with another quick answer to a copywriting question video. And of course, I write a lot of marketing materials for authors and business coaches, marketing materials that help people sell a lot more books and information products. And uh, one of the questions I get a lot when I'm working with a client, this isn't so much a question as it is a request. People ask me to write them a nice, witty, catchy tagline for their book or information product. And what I always say to them is, you know, I'm not going to write you a witty, catchy tagline. I'm going to write you a tagline that is memorable. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean is, instead of trying to come up with something really catchy, zippy, clever, I'm going to come up with something that people remember. And the most memorable taglines tend to be more simple. And I'm going to give you some great all-time consumer tagline examples that kind of prove my point. Uh, Allstate Insurance, they've been using this tagline forever. You're in good hands. They've been using that since I was a little kid. They still use it. Coca-Cola, here's an old one they used to use. Things go better with Coke. Very simple. Metropolitan Life Insurance, get met, it pays. And of course, the classic uh, Nike tagline, just do it. Now, what do all these four um, examples have in common is that they're very simple, very straight to the point, very concise. That's all you need. None of them are what we would call overly clever. All right, they're just very, but they're all very memorable. Now, a simple three-step formula you can use for writing a tagline for your book or your product would be to uh, come up with a tagline that uses very simple words, one or two syllable words, three syllables most, but very simple words. Keep your tagline. Number two, keep it very concise and short, like the examples I gave you. And number three, try to state a benefit or ask a thought-provoking question, or maybe stir emotion, depending on what you're writing about. That's the main, main three things. Keep it simple, uh, um, simple words, keep it very brief, and state or imply a benefit, or ask a thought-provoking question, or be provocative. And I'm gonna give you a few examples from books I've worked on. And uh, this first one is from a book called Journaling Power by Marielle McCarthy. And the tagline we came up with was, Heal, Grow, and Transform Your Life. Another book I worked on called My Warren Buffett Bible. And uh, the tagline was, 50 years of investing advice in two hours. Very simple, very straightforward. Both of these uh, stress a benefit. And then for a novel, I worked on a psychological thriller called The Butterflies by uh, Kimberly Waldron. The tagline we came up with was, You'll root for a serial killer. Again, that doesn't really stress a benefit, of course, but it's very thought-provoking, very simple, very straightforward. And then lastly, for a book, a memoir called A Family No Matter What um, by Sandra Perrodin. Uh, the tagline I came up with was Lessons from a Beautiful Divorce. Very benefit-driven headline, a little, little twist. We don't typically think of divorce as being beautiful, but um, very simple, very straight, straightforward, very concise. So the next time you work on a tagline, think simple. You don't have to be catchy or clever, just be concise, be simple, state or imply a benefit or come up with a thought-provoking statement. If you follow those simple rules, I think you'll be able to come up with a lot of really good stuff for your book or product. Now, if you're watching this tip on YouTube, please subscribe to, the, to my channel. That would be great. And then maybe you can hop on over to kcdemchak.com. I've got a special report you could download called Seven must-know copywriting secrets every author and coach should know. I think that'd be very helpful for you. And if you're already on caseydemcheck.com, pop on down, leave a comment, and I'll definitely get back to you about that. And I uh, hope you found this tip helpful. So until next week when I'm back with another quick answer to a copywriting question, take a lot of action this week and make things happen.